This method can help answer key questions regarding metabolic pathway setup in leukemia cells. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows measurement of the metabolism of primary leukemia cells in real time in live cells. Begin by diluting a bone marrow sample obtained from a leukemia patient in PBS at a 1 to 1 ratio. Carefully layer 6 milliliters of the diluted bone marrow sample over 6 milliliters of freshly prepared density gradient medium in a 15 milliliter conical tube. And separate the cells by density gradient centrifugation. Use a Pasteur pipette to carefully transfer the interphase layer of mononuclear cells to a new 50 milliliter conical tube containing 5 milliliters of PBS for a centrifugation wash. Then resuspend the mononuclear cell pellet in 2 milliliters of sterile PBS for counting. Dilute the cells to a 3 times 10 to the 7 cells per milliliter concentration and add 1 milliliter of cells to each of two T75 flasks containing 20 milliliters of RPMI medium for a 16 to 24 hour incubation at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% CO2. Meanwhile, to prepare the plates for extracellular flux analysis, add 12.5 microliters of cell adhesive solution into each well of two 8-well extracellular flux analyzer plates. After 20 minutes, aspirate the cell adhesive and wash each well two times with 200 microliters of sterile water per wash. After the second wash,